For today's video, I go over how I repaired and replaced the bow eye on my John boat. previous owner had a bow eye installed here and it was either not supported correctly or the trailer wasn't set up right and it was causing some damage. So my plan for this is cutting a new aluminum plate and then that's going to be the new mounting place for a new bow eye when I get that installed. Pretty much everything you see sanded is where the plate's going to go. A little bit past each rivet and then all up in there. Nine inches by five inches. So I'm gonna use this piece right here. It'll be nice and easy to get to, in good condition, there's no holes in it. That's our end. The snips were getting too hung up trying to cut it down. So I'm actually just gonna drill it out and then I'm gonna clean it up with the snips after I get it drilled out. I would not recommend this method for anything bigger. Uh, just get yourself a titanium jigsaw blade. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the edges now, cut my last cut, and hopefully get this into shape. All right, well, it's not the prettiest plate, but it'll do the job. Notice that there's actually a little bit of a crease right here on the outside of the boat, so this is a really great repair that needed to be done. This is gonna go ahead and reinforce the whole area here. All of these rivets actually need to be changed. There's two handles in the front. They're both extremely loose. I'm gonna take these other rivets off. Now that we have all these rivets out, this should actually make that a little bit easier. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this area down with some carb cleaner. I'm gonna get this into position, then I'm gonna drill out my two holes, two holes up here. Attempt to get this out now, mix up the epoxy, apply it to the back, get it back in, and then rivet it down. All right, so I just got back from the store, picked up some new hardware. I've decided against riveting these holes here. So instead, I am going to be just using some small bolts and lock nuts. Picked up an eye bolt. This is gonna be the new out eye here. I like having the handles in the middle instead of just on the sides. So we'll see. Have all the the rivets that were knocked out bolted back in we have 5200 sealing the connections so now I'm going to measure out the distance between the bow find the center point and then find my drill spot I think we're gonna go a little bit lower and I'm gonna try to drill through this also so we have even more support three layers of aluminum to protect this from getting damaged so I'm happy with that Kind of go a little heavy here because it's uh, there's a little bit of a gap between here. Hoping we can seal that up through with the bolts. So now I'm gonna put the, put the new washer on and nuts on. I 
All right, we have an absolutely solid connection now. Hey guys, stepping in from the future here. One of the first things I did uh, within the same day that I didn't record was I swapped all of the bolts. So the flat edge of the bolt was on the outside and the lock nuts were on the inside. Uh, this is all gonna get covered at some point. So I wanted a more flush look on the outside, but you can see that the bolts are, they look really nice on the outside. You don't really notice them. They look kind of like rivets. If I were to do this again, I would have cut this plate out using a jigsaw. That's a, uh, I think one eighth plate. It's, it's really thick. So wasn't the right method for cutting that. I'm happy with how I lowered the position of the bow eye. Kind of hard to see it, but when the boat gets in position, the winch pulls on the bow eye perfectly. It pulls at the exact angle that the bow eye is set up to. So it's doing a pretty even uh, distribution of weight and and force here so there's just so much protecting uh this bow eye now that i don't see it wearing out like it did before all right guys well if you found this helpful let me know by hitting that like button if you want to follow along with the john boat build don't forget to subscribe uh, a lot of fun things coming up here's a little sneak peek uh, stay tuned for some new updates thanks for watching